Yeah, first of all, I would say it's a uh, story is um, often misunderstood. Mm -hmm. So there's many people when they hear about storytelling training, uh, the, the reaction is, oh, great, another storytelling training. Yeah, So it has been overused and they have many Many storytelling trainings are very narrow focused on, for mm -hmm. example, you're going to learn about the hero's journey, the classical mm -hmm. um, the Greek mm -hmm. um, drama with um, um, increasing drama. Then you have the high point, you have the resolution and the happy end or the not the happy end if it's a, a tragedy. <sighs> yeah, but this is this is uh, it's great and nothing wrong with uh, Greek uh, Greek, Greek drama. And, and if you look at current cinema movies, they're all following the same plot. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you look at Harry Potter or James Bond or Star Wars or all the, the great movies, Hunger Games, they are all having these protagonist, antagonist, uh, the tension. Uh, that's that's how storytelling works in, in cinema and in books. The problem I have with that is uh, in business, it's not the same. Yeah, in in a, in a murder mystery, you can you can keep people attached to the story for one and a half hours. Yeah. Mm. By, by keeping the suspense and, and only giving the, the, the resolution at the end. But in business, that, that doesn't work. Nobody's going to give you one and a half hours to, to resolve the, the miracles that you put on the table. So, and, uh, so what we need in, in uh, business is a much broader uh, definition of story. And that's what I'm trying to, to get across. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, there is many things that people wouldn't have on their radar screen in terms of story. So, for example, uh, money. So if you hear money, it's not the first thought, uh, yeah, story. No, it's not, right? But money is a story. It's, it's, by the way, one of the most successful stories that have ever been told. Because if you look at these, these uh, little uh, colorful paper mm -hmm. bills, they are actually the, the value of these is nothing. It's just paper, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And if you burn them, they're gone. But everybody is, is hunting them. Everybody wants them, yeah? Uh, and not because of the paper. It's not that you're into, into colorful paper. That's not what it is. <laughs> but as soon as you hold them in your hand, there is a story being told in your mind what you can do with the money. So it's a placeholder for, money, for stories. And at the same time, it's only valuable because so many people worldwide believe into the value. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a common story that we tell around money. And uh, if you go to a different planet and find some extraterrestrial intelligence, they might look at you and say, uh, so what? What is this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they don't share the story. Yeah? So mm -hmm. that's, for example, one story. And mm -hmm. uh, what I what really drives me crazy is sometimes in business, people say, ah, yeah, stories is cinema, movies, books, but not in business. Business is facts and yeah. numbers. Yeah. Yeah? I call it sometimes the 4F, the features, functions, facts and figures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is what we are doing in business. It's rational, it's logical, and no, it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and storytelling is, is part of the business. I take it even further. I say a business is a story. Yeah. And if it's a great business, if it's a sustainable business, then it's a great story that we are telling. So, for example, SAP now celebrates this year the 50th birthday. And uh, so that means we are telling the SAP story since 50 years. And the, the share price is the measure of the quality of our storytelling, because if we are telling great stories to the public, to our customers, to, to everyone who is attached with this company, then they uh, believe into the story. And that mm -hmm. means they put their money on the table and say, OK, I want to be part of this success story. If it's a bad mm -hmm. story, like if there's a scandal or something, yeah, if there's a bad treatment or what, what comes more and more the sustainability, uh, the green line story. Yeah. Are we treating the planet nicely? Are we caring about the environment? Then you get bad marks and then you're telling a bad story and you're out of business sooner or later. Mm -hmm. So that's for me, mm -hmm. business is a story. And uh, talking to designers, uh, that's, that's one of the most powerful stories I think are there uh, out there, which I call uh, implicit storytelling. Mm -hmm. These are the stories that, that you don't hear because they don't have words. So most people think storytelling is about words and, and speaking, but uh, some yeah. of the best stories are told um, just without words. So, for example, if you have a, a, a beautiful app, yeah, you have downloaded a beautiful app on your smartphone and you really love it because it's easy to use, it's simple, uh, intuitive. What, what are you going to do? You're going to tell your friends and say, hey, you need to download this. It's fantastic. Yeah, it made my life so much easier. So you see, mm. the design, a good design triggers storytelling. That's mm -hmm. why I call it implicit stories, because you are doing the design and some other people are telling the great stories about it. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other part of implicit storytelling is the behavior. 
So that means how are we treating people in our environment? Uh, do we care about them? Are we helpful? Are we generous? Are we, um, yeah, caring is the word. Yeah, a good caring means if, I, for example, somebody um, drops their, their shopping bag from, from a grocery shopping, yeah, and, and all the, the fruits and the vegetables are spread over the, over the pavement. And I'm there, yeah, so what do I do? I go there and help them mm -hmm. to, to put everything back into the bank. There is yeah. no single word, maybe, except, hi, can I help you? Yeah, but that's not a story, right? And not a verbal story. But, but helping this person, yeah, they will go home and say, hey, you know, there's still nice people out there. Mm -hmm. yeah? And, and this, is, this is also part of storytelling. And I'm trying to take this really broad because also when we talk to our customers, it's not about the pitching. It's not mm -hmm. about the 30 minutes or one hour demo that we are giving about our products, but it's how does it continue? Are we following up on questions? Are we uh, asking back, does everything work? Do we remember next time what happened before? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just an example. You're meeting some uh, customer that you haven't seen for let's say half a year or, or longer. And you meet in a cafe and you still remember that this person prefers a flat white with one piece of sugar. Mm. That is a story mm. yeah? because the other person feels you care about them. Yeah? You remember things. Yeah? So this is all part of storytelling. I'm trying to really get this broad scope mm -hmm. into the game because I think uh, with this uh, classical Greek storytelling, Uh, we are not really um, yeah. doing ourselves a favor in business. This is what I tell my colleagues. If you can write 45 minute long stories or even longer, which keep your audience attached all the time and they are sitting like, yeah, in, 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 in a trance like state, then quit your job yeah, and go to Hollywood. You're going to be the next screenwriter. Yeah? You, you're creating the next big TV series, but don't waste your time in business because if you have mm. this talent, you need to be, uh, you, can, you can do much better and you can be yeah, mm. uh, much happier in, in, a, in a writer's job. Yeah? Yeah. So we need those short anecdotes, those small stories that we can tell to make a point, to change people's minds, to, yeah, to, to drive change, yeah, to, to make the world run better, as we say in SAP, and uh, improve people's mm. lives. I like this. Thank you.